It's Saturday morning and Nicole just said, I'm gonna go pop a tray out. <laughs> so I said, sure, let me fire up the camera and check you uh, popping a tray out. So I had some leftover resin. Mm -hmm. So I made it silver. Silver? Yeah. Have we done much silver before? I don't think so. Hmm, interesting. Feel the yeah, bubbles. what's are they bubbles? They look really like bubbles. That's but they're but they're like underneath, they're not on top. That's a cool effect that. I don't yeah. mind that. Alright, let's check it out. So wow, this it's just really windy today. This just needed a little bit more on top mm -hmm. of the colour that was already there. Oh, okay. So it's like a two tone. Oh yeah, it's different. So I, I chose silver because it kind of went with whatever I already had down. Yep. It's got a bit of sparkle in there, mm, hey? Yeah, it has. That's cool. So these are the jewelry ones, aren't they? Well, yes. or trinket. And this one was the one that I oh, couldn't was this? It. So your ring one's there. <laughs> yeah. So this is your unsteady hand That's version. That's the one, yeah. Okay, let's see. I don't mind. Ooh. Oh, did you just get yeah, a sneak I did, peek? I did, I did. <laughs> I like the two-tone versions. So that's that's not bad. I mean, nothing fancy, but, you know, subtle. Yeah, it's different. I'm really fascinated by these bubbles. Yeah, it's strange. And yet you can't feel them. No, because they're. it's like they're on the bottom layer. Yeah. Cool. All right, well... Um, Am I going to get back to my relaxing Saturday now? Yes, or, you can. Yeah. Or are you sure you don't want to do anything else that <laughs> no, I need to... I'm good now. No? All right. So I'm going to go back and watch TV. All right. Off you go. So I was just about to walk out and Nicole's like, I've got these too if you, <laughs> if you, want, to, if you want to film it. What else have you got? <laughs> I've poured some more of these little um, trinket jars. Yep. Yep. To make sure that I was... Oh, because we had because um, I had the air bubbles. Yeah, so we did. We did have the I'm air bubbles. I'm hoping that these ones don't have bubbles. Oh, I tell you what, I'm excited for this. I like those extra There's colors. There's also pretty... some silver. Yep. Yeah. Really excited. Oh, wow, these look so cool. Are you going to actually swap out some of the other ones and put them in, or? Yeah, we'll have to mix them up. Yeah. 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 You don't want layered colors. You want them all. Yeah. All over the place. <laughs> Spit it out, mate. It's Saturday. I can't speak. I know. But I wanted to take these out. So it's, our, it's our day off today and we're yeah, still working. I couldn't wait, though. <laughs> All right. So which one had the bubbles in it last time? It was the lid, wasn't it? Was it was the lid, yes. So, oh, no. <gasps> mm. <sighs> and you are spraying with... Um, the alcohol first, yeah. I guess maybe because it's it's deep down in there, isn't it? Yeah. And you kind of don't want to poke at it because you don't want to scratch the mould. No, no, because then the mould's pretty much ruined. Mmm, that's a bugger, hey? I like those colours. So here's the lid for this one. Bubbles as well. Not as yeah, bad. Not as bad as before. Maybe they need to go in the pot. Are you degassing this resin yes, or, yeah? Yes. Mm. I Maybe mean, that, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I mean, we could put them in the pot. It would definitely eliminate that problem, but... You know, not everyone has pots. Yeah, well, that's right. So, it is a little disappointing. Yeah, I think they might have. You can see that a as well. Bubbles, yeah. You know, I think if we used a, a a really slow, slow curing resin, I reckon it would fix it. Yeah, it's just that there was. We have leftovers, leftovers and we. Leftovers, and you kind of don't want to waste any. You guys know the deal. We don't waste any of our resin, so. Have, yeah, a couple on there. A couple on there, but I mean, once you put the lid on, you can't see them. <laughs> no, I guess. <laughs> I guess we could randomly chuck them in some orders. Yeah. If you people know. don't mind bubbles. Yeah. I mean, look, if you guys don't mind bubbles and the fact that these aren't 100%, what have we got? Two of them? Yeah. All right. The next two people who say in the comments on their purchase, I'd love a jewelry tray, jewelry container, <laughs> <laughs> not a tray, a container. The next two people that say, I want to, I wouldn't mind a defect jewellery box. Yep. How about that? Yep. Jewellery box. Yep. Uh, gets one each. First yep. two people. Yep. So if you get one, you get one. If you miss out, it's because two people beat you. Yeah. But how about that? Next two people, get get one of them each. One each. No matter what you buy. Yep. It could be a cheap pocket hug or a bear. 
you're getting one of them. All right, what else? Is, can this come out? Yeah, this can come out. That looks a bit wonky. It does. It's the mold, though. It's one of those ones from Sheen. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's not. I, I must admit, when you buy good quality molds, you can tell the difference. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So you can see that that's... It's wonky. It's wonky. Oh. And what was this meant to be? That came with the trays, so it was kind of just meant to sit... Like oh, like this? Yeah. Oh, because oh yeah, because it's kind of built to fit in there. Yeah. That's actually not a bad idea. I don't mind that. That way you can throw stuff in there and it doesn't get lost, I guess. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know how to get the shape back. It's weird, hey. It turned up like that. Look so how thin it is. Do you think that's why it's out of shape because it is so thin? I would. I would say so. I wonder if we made like a. Around like a holder somehow, like a sleeve. Yeah. Whether that would fix it. I wish I was really good on making three D files because we've oh. got we've got this filament printer here, and I'm sure I could like three D print. Yeah. I think, but I, I, it, yeah. I don't know how to do it. I don't no. know how to create those. Are they called CAD files? Maybe. I think or... they are. I, when I went to the high school, I had to try and help the boys do that, and I was like, I got no idea what you're doing. Yeah. So if I knew how to make like that ring yeah yeah as as a um as a file. 3d printer file i could just like i say print it print out it and, out and slip it over yeah exactly yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to teach myself somehow how to do that because we've also got um cnc's that we want to really learn oh and we've also got where is it this remember this i bought you yeah. how long ago did i buy you I that still how to use it. nicole was adamant she wanted a laser cutter to make her own uh, embellishments. Yep. So I bought her one, and this is where it sat, just collecting dust. <sighs> I know, I still haven't learned how to use it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I think we're going to drag that out one day, and we're going to work it out. Yeah, I really want to. We're going to yeah. dial it in, and we're going to work it out. So, yeah, all right. All right, you can go back inside now. Can I go, can I go in now? Yes. Okay, thanks, darling. All right, thank you. It's now Monday morning. I got to relax and watch my TV after this little one asked me to come out and film some stuff. So yeah, uh, Monday morning, we just finished packing most of the uh, merch orders, which is really good. Yep. Thank you to all you guys. Uh, we do have to head out later today and grab um, a fabric pen because the one we had actually ran out halfway through signing some um, shirts. So. We're going to run out and grab that. We're also going to meet up with uh, Damien from Little Warrior Shields. He's got some bits and pieces for us. So we're going to meet up with him. And uh, what are you doing there? Pulling something out of the pot? Got a skull. A skull. That's a bit different to how we normally make them, hey? It is. Somebody asked for, what was it? A Halloween? No? Halloween thing? Yeah, yeah. They got they do a little village. Yeah. Halloween village. So yeah. um, we don't normally do full coloured ones, but... Um, she asked for it, so we thought we'd give it a go. So hopefully, hopefully this one turned out. Fingers crossed, it looks okay. How you going there? Oh, I always have it? trouble getting molds off. I oh, know it doesn't help with your fingers too. Yeah. Oh, by the way, a lot of you guys recommended some cream uh, for Nicole's fingers. Thank you very much for that. We Appreciate did it. it. We did actually get one called uh, Working Hands. I think it was called, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're we're trialing that with with her cotton gloves and. You know, ooh. Check that out. Wow. Look at the top of that. That is so cool. I like that. Now, we mixed three colors with that, didn't we? Yes. Two so oranges. Two different color oranges. Now, I think we should tilt it up and put glowing green in its oh, eyes. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that'll really make it pop out, hey? Very cool. I think that that's going to look great in her village. I think it will, too. I think she's got like a, I can't remember what she said, uh, Department 56 style village? That's what it was, yeah. Was that it? I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. I think that's the gauge or something or or the brand. But anyway, I think that's going to fit really well. Oh, I do like that. That's cool, hey. That looks very cool. So, all right. Well, I think um, we you need to get changed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll head out and grab this stuff, eh? Hey? Yes.
forgot I also needed some algae wafers for the uh, bristle nose. Yeah? Yeah, so we better get them first yeah. before I forget. <laughs> you better. Should we get some new fish? Goldfish? No. Oh, look at this one. This one doesn't look too good. <laughs> up, up for some air. Oh, look how pretty the um, guppies look. Oh, mollies. Look at all the mollies. We should, we should get a black one. I was just about to, to say match look at the black one. We should get a black molly for molly. Oh, they're hungry. Oh, very cool. All right, we got our wafers. Yep. Let's head um, to Office Works. Forgot we needed dog food too. <laughs> Molly eats like a horse. Look at our choice of markers. <laughs> there are so many to choose from. So I think we're gonna go with these. What do you think? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you reckon, yep. do you reckon they'll work? They're paint ones, so yeah. they should work. They should stay on. We've got some gold, silver, white. So I think that'll work. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right, let's head home. Well, that ended up being a lot <laughs> more expensive than I thought <laughs> it would. expensive trip. $242. We forgot we needed some shipping labels and a toner and paper and containers plus the paint pens. Whew. It's all these little hidden costs of running a business that sometimes you don't think about until you have to buy it. You know it's nearly lunchtime. Yes. <laughs> Do you feel like Subway? Yeah, sounds good. All right, let's get nice somewhere. and healthy for I'm you. I'm starving. Ham salad. Yep. Mm, what are you going to get? Tuna. Tuna salad. Ooh, that sounds good too. <laughs> All right, let's get some Subway. <laughs> there you go. How'd you go? They look busy in there. They are jam packed. All right on lunchtime, I guess. Yeah, well, there was only one person serving when I went in there, but then someone else came out. But there's still only two people serving for about 10 people in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go home and eat. Yep. <laughs> Do you like the new food, Molly? It's a little different to what we normally get, hey? Yeah, I didn't realise the pieces were so tiny. Yeah, but she's hoeing into it. Do you like that one, Molly? <laughs> <laughs> Don't not, interrupt me, I'm eating. You're not letting your sister in for any. <laughs> do you like that one, do you? Yeah? Now it's our turn to eat. It is. <laughs> so you got the tuna, hey? Yeah. I got the ham. Oh. Let's see how they stack up. My gosh, I think they put too much sauce on. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a lot of sauce. It is a lot of sauce. And here's my ham. How does that stack up to my American friends? Now you guys call, do you guys call these sandwiches? Is that right? I think they do. Cause we just call them um, foot long. A foot su long sub. Foot long sub. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't call them sandwiches. Or like hamburgers. I think you guys call uh, hamburgers. Sandwiches. Sandwiches, yeah. yeah. Whereas we call them hamburgers. Hamburgers, but, a burger. But anyway, <laughs> I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat. finished my lunch and I nearly forgot to give the fish theirs. Let's drop a few of these in for them. They'll probably all come out once they go in. They've all come out now. They all know it's lunchtime. They're all having a good feed. We had a shipment of shirts turn up today as well. We've got new Elliot's, Band-Aids, 
aprons. So everything should be back in stock now. Now with these paint pens I bought, because we haven't tried these ones before, what I might do is I've got an old shirt here and I'm gonna try and test each one of them on the shirt and then wash it. Because as you know, I don't like sending anything out unless I know it's 100% right. So if I sign them, wash it, and then tomorrow, if the signature's held up pretty well, then I know which pen to use and I can go ahead because there's a few in there that I need to sign and Nicole needs to, needs to sign as well. So oh yeah, I just wanna make sure they're all good before they head out. Okay, which one do you reckon we should try first? Now, these are the finer tip ones. We've got the silver, the gold, and the white. I don't know if these are gonna be as good as the thicker ones, so maybe we should try these ones first. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right, let's go silver. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's a bit tricky. Yeah, it's digging in a bit. Maybe just try and press as light as you can, I guess. I think maybe the tip is too fine. Yeah, see, it's just dragging. Uh, so you need it to be um, thicker? Yeah. I mean, it looks, it's nice and silver, but maybe the point needs to be a bit rounded. Let's try this one. This is the 2.2 mil. This might work a bit better. Oh yeah, it's definitely thicker. Wow, it's just pulling so hard. Definitely better though. It is better. Just need to keep practicing. Keep practicing. <laughs> I know the other pens we had were way easier than these. All right, I'm going to keep practicing and I'll show you what we end up with. So we've just tested them all. <laughs> and I think now what we need to do is wash it and then see which ones hold up the best. And then we'll know which pen to use. Yeah. Now, while that shirt is in the wash, we need to open up what Damien got us. Uh, Damien from Little Warrior Shields, he gave us some skateboard offcuts. Wow, that's so cool, hey? Look at these. Aren't they colourful? He gave us some shavings too. Yeah, some shavings as well. And he made you something, didn't he? He did. He made me a bowl. Look at that. That's cool, hey? Like a so little, cool. little jewellery dish? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. That's really nice. It's so colourful. And so the offcuts that he gave me are from his little uh, bottle openers. Yeah, there's two of them. They're pretty cool, hey? They're awesome. Keep that on your keyring and crack a coldy. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, and we've got a, another little waste block offcut thing, I guess yeah, you'd call you it. Yeah, do something with that. Yeah. So thanks, Damien, for that. <laughs> little Warrior Shields. He's got a book drive um, on at the moment. Raising money for the sick kids in hospital, yeah. I believe. He makes these little cool foam shields as well. Yeah. For all the sick kids. So the kids feel like they're a warrior yeah. fighting their battles. That's yeah. it, yeah. So well done to Damien for that. And thank you very much for our pieces. Not sure what we're gonna do with them, but if you guys have any suggestions, I was thinking maybe getting some wood glue and just gluing them all into some real funky um what do they call it? Uh polyhedron shapes. Oh <laughs> I don't know. Sheldon would know. <laughs> all those weird, weird shapes, you yep, know? Yep. I don't know, because they're all obviously triangles by the looks of it. So, or wedges. So I guess um, whatever shapes you can make with with wedges and triangles would be pretty cool, yeah. eh? Yeah. Yeah, shove it in resin and turn it up. But yeah, thanks very much for that, mate. Uh, we'll do something cool with it. And also, your sister gave us a visit the other day yeah, she popped over the other day yep and she gave us a bowling pin and bowling ball mold she did she loves that, her bowling she does love her bowling she's very good at it as well um i actually thought it was a one of those nerf you know you throw the, <laughs> the nerf, nerf rocket. yeah pop that out for me darling let's have a let's have a quick look looks like the um the bowling ball has a little finger hole too it does that's cool look at that there's a little pin there I wonder how well that's going to stand up. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. It's like, a, too bad. like a rocket ship, and that's that's the ball. Yep. 
which will be interesting. I reckon we should try and make at least three, don't you reckon? Oh, I reckon you've got to make a set. A whole set of ten? Yes. Okay. And then what? We can have a game? Yeah. And then we can... <laughs> so we have to make two bowling balls then, because if you break your ball... What? I'm, <laughs> hey, I don't break my balls. I mean, you might bust my ball, but, you know, I don't break it. That's for sure. So, uh, all right, ten. I guess we're making ten of them. Yep. Well, you can make 10 of them. I'll you're, make 10. You're going to be quite busy. Now, do you try and do white with some red? Oh, yes, I now, think so. Yep. Now, you could get real tricky, I guess, and go white. white, then red, then white, then red, then white. That's what I'm going to do. But you know how long that's going to take that's you? That's all right. You'd be a week just doing one, I reckon. That's okay. 10 weeks. That's right. 10 weeks to make. It'll be you Christmas. Guys will, you guys will just have to be patient with me. It'll be bloody Christmas by the time you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, that, that's going to be good. So thank you for that and thank you for them. And uh, hopefully that shirt's not too far uh, finished in the washer. Yep, we'll go check it. And we can see how the pen looks. Yep. So I just pulled the shirt out of the washing machine. Yeah. Are you ready to see it? Do I want to see it? <laughs> <gasps> no! Did what we happened? Did we use the um, disappearing ink? No. <laughs> now, this is why we do our tests before we ship items off. Because I would have hated to have sent that off and people had washed it and then it just disappeared. So I think what we've got to do is, can you remember what brand we were using before? No, I was just about to say, I wish I hadn't have thrown it out. Yeah, okay. Um, so I think we're definitely going to need fabric pens. I, I really thought the paint pen was going to work. No, I think the last pen was from Spotlight, so we're going to have to go to Spotlight. Okay. No, we can do that. Now, I did. I wasn't sure whether we didn't let the, the paint set long enough. So I did do another one, um, which I'm going to wait a few hours before washing that one and, and maybe it would work i'm not sure but but yeah that that's definitely a bust hey yep not to worry what are, what are you going through here some uh craft oh, just moving my craft tubs again yeah yeah Ooh, christmas stuff is it no no just styrofoam balls and yeah stuff. Ooh, stuff just stuff you got stuff <laughs> everywhere don't you i do oh noisy cockatoos going off in the background be dinner time. I was gonna say they're probably looking for some fruit off the tree again. <laughs> yeah, the old uh, passion fruit back there that they keep stealing. The little buggers keep taking them and then dropping them everywhere. Yeah. We get them on our roof and, and all sorts. But anyway, all right, we'll see how that goes. And uh, if not, we're off to spotlight. So this is what it looks like after a couple of hours of drying and then in the wash. It's better, but it's still no good. So I think what we might have to do is head off to Spotlight and get some more pens. So we've made it into Spotlight and I found these ones, double-ended fabric pens, but also maybe metallic fabric paint as well. Metallic what do you think? Ones look good, yeah. Do you think they might work? I think so. All right, let's grab these two and go test them, I guess. <laughs> So we were walking out of Spotlight, and what does Nicole spot on the way out? Moulds. <laughs> As if you don't have enough moulds, darling. Yeah, but one of the letters in my other one's got a hole in it, so I needed a new one. <laughs> Is that your excuse? Yep, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are they different sizes to your other ones? Or are they the same ones? No, I think it's the same. Oh, they 10 bucks. Yep. Is that good, you reckon? Oh, I thought it was. Yeah? Yeah. Looks good quality. Yep. And I think it comes in, like, two separate moulds rather than one big long one. Oh, okay. So the full alphabet is in there. Yeah. Just in two separate ones. Yeah. I really hope these work. Oh, so do I. Metallic fabric. Like, surely it does say... Machine wash inside out on delicate cycle. So I'll have to make sure we try that. If not, we have these ones. Yep. Double-ended tip. So we've got a fine tip and a bullet point. So Yeah, I think the bullet point is better than the fine tip because the fine tip seems to get stuck. Yeah. Okay. We'll go home and try them, hey? Yep. Okay, I'm going to try the metallic silver.
paint fabric pen. I reckon this is going to be our best bet of getting it to work. Now, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to just sign my name. I'm going to have to, like, draw my name, I feel. So let's give it a go. There we go. That's nice and sparkly. That looks good. Yeah, that, that doesn't look too bad at all, actually. I think that's going to work. I'm pretty happy with that one. So we just let that dry, give it a wash, and see how it looks. Yep. Do you want to see how it looks? Yeah. Oh, it worked. Look. That's awesome. It stayed on after a wash. Yay. That is perfect. And look, it looks perfect. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's come off at all. No. Nah. So now that we have a pen that works, <laughs> we can go ahead and finish signing everyone's order yep. and get them in the mail. Sweet. What are you doing? Doing a bit of sanding? Yeah. Is that an illusion? An illusion. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it looks good. Well, that's a bit of a relief, hey, that yeah, we for sure. that yeah. we got the pens. Yep. I mean, cost us a fortune to, to <laughs> get right. to get them, but hey, we're we'll doing we're, we're doing it for you guys. <laughs> we we just didn't feel comfortable sending a shirt out that had our signatures on it, and then if you guys washed it once, they disappeared. Yeah. Like that seems crazy. So yeah. at least now we're confident that we can send them out. You guys can wash them, wear them, wash them, and they're still going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to wrap up the vlog here. What do you think? Sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. I hope you guys had a good day. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it at the start of this video, but um, I hope you're having a good day or a good week or weekend or summer, winter, wherever you are. <laughs> We're still in the in the midst of winter. Yeah. Dark and gloomy Raining days. Raining on and off. Raining on and off, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.